Okay, hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to install the G++ compiler to your Windows machine so you don't have to rely on Visual Basic Studio for your C++ coding needs. First things first, grab MinGW from the link in the description below and run it. Go ahead and install. We're going to leave these guys default because we're only going to need this program for about 15 minutes. Hit continue. This guy takes a few minutes, so I'm going to fast forward. I'll be right back. And there we go, 109 items of 109. Hit continue and this lovely dialog is going to pop up. We're going to need a couple things here. First off, the developer toolkit marked out for installation. And then second, we're going to need a basic Minji installation, which is the next one down. And then the G++ compiler itself. Go figure. So these guys show that we have marked them for installation. We can ignore the ADA, Fortran, and the Objective-C compiler because those are not going to be terribly helpful for what we're doing. Go ahead and hit installation, apply changes, and then apply once more. This guy takes five or six minutes depending on your system speed, so just let it run. I'm going to fast forward once again. See you on the other side. And there we go. All changes were applied successfully. You may now close this dialog. Close it out. You can see here all these guys are marked with a green box, which means they were installed successfully, so we can close this guy out entirely. So we're done, right? Not quite. First, we need to tell Windows where our G++ compiler is by adding an environment variable. So go to Start Menu, Control Panel, System, Advanced System Settings, and then Environment Variables. Now we're going to scroll down just a little bit to path. This is where we're going to store that path to our G++ compiler. So we're going to open up an Explorer window, lock this guy to the right, go to local disk C, min GW, and then bin. This is our first path we're going to need. Copy that address as text, go back over to our environment variables. This is important. Make sure you add a semicolon so Windows knows we're adding another path not a continuation of the one before. Then go ahead and paste in that path. We need one more though. We're gonna go back to that mingw base directory, msys 1.0, and then bin again. Copy this path as text, and we're going to paste it in the same way we did before with another semicolon. Okay, okay, okay. Close out the rest of these dialogues here, and we have our G++ compiler all good to go. We're gonna open CMD. Because not only do we have the G++ compiler, we have our Unix commands like ls, which will list the stuff in our directory. This may take a reboot to take effect, so if it doesn't work the first time, just reboot your system and you should be good to go. Now the one last thing we need to actually get coding is an IDE, or Interactive Developer Environment. My favorite is Sublime Text. Three. It has some really cool features. I encourage you to go check it out in the description below, give it a download, and then install it. It's just next, 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 install. It takes about four seconds, no speed up necessary this time. Go to the start menu, hit Sublime Text 3, and I'm going to lock it to the right side of my screen. This is where we're going to do our programming. I actually wrote a little sample code here, just for Hello World, just to show you how we can build and run the project. So hit Tools, hit Build, or Control B. And then we can choose to just compile it or compile and run it. This will also work with make files. So just going to compile and run. You can see we get hello world as our output, just as we should. And over on the left, you can see that the executable has appeared as well, which you can move to other systems to run your code there. And that's it. You guys are all set to start your C++ coding with that G++ compiler, just like on Linux or Mac. If you have any questions, pop those into the comments below. If you have any videos that you would like me to make, pop that in the comments as well, and I'll do my best to get it done for you. Now you know how to get started. Happy coding.